Hey everyone, I am Dinesh. Today I am going to teach you how to create mix match bundle in Max Bundle app to maximize your sales and boost your average order value. So let's create a bundle and choose mix match bundle. So in bundle name, you can write it anything. This will not visible to customers. In title, for example, I write mix match bundle, right? So in button text, you can write it anything for now. I leave it as it is. Now display bundle on. So you can add multiple products here, but you have to add at least two products in it. For now, I choose few products. Click on add. You can also see a bit live preview here, right? Now we have discount types. So we have three types of discount. The first one is percentage. The second one is fixed amount. The third one is flat price. So what if, if you don't want to offer any kind of discount, you can simply turn it off, right? For now, I want to offer a discount, um, like percentage, right? Now coming to discount option for now, I'll remove the first one. So if customer purchase two quantity, or you can say two products then he will get 15% discount. So we have another option here, add a range of. So if customer purchase two product or you can say three product, still he get 15% discount here. Now coming to discount option two, same goes to here. Let me increase the quantity, make it five. So if customer purchase five quantity or you can say five product, then he will get 20% discount. You can also enable a add a range option here. For now, I'll leave it as it is. We have another option. Enable user to buy more items with this discount option. So what this feature will do is suppose customer purchase six quantity or more than five quantity of five products. Still he get 20% discount. Okay. You can also add more discount option by clicking this add discount button. Now coming to make bundle visible on. So by default, this bundle visible on product page. So if you want to create a separate bundle page, you can simply enable this option. This will create a separate bundle page. Okay. For now, I'll leave it. Now coming to bundle type. So we have two types of bundle. The first one is inline bundle where the bundle widget is directly visible on product page. We have another type redirect to bundle page. If you enable this option, this option is mandatory to create a bundle page or you can say to create a separate bundle page. So you can also write a subtitle button text. And if you want to open the bundle page on new tab, you can simply enable this option. But we'll discuss this in later. For now, I'll just remove this option. Now we have display on specific product. So if you want to display the bundle on specific product, you can simply check this checkbox. For example, I don't want to display the bundle on these products. I just want to display the bundle on this product only, the hydrogen product. Okay. Now we have required products. So if you enable this option and let's suppose if you check this product, so this product is mandatory to add to cart and the customer is wouldn't be removed or delete from our bundle. So you can say this product is mandatory. For now, I'll remove this option. Now advanced settings. So if you don't want to display the bundle variants, you can simply uncheck this checkbox. Same goes to here. If you don't want to display the compare price, you can simply uncheck this option. If you want to display the counter timer, you can simply enable this option. For now, I'll leave it as it is. Let's save it. Yes, the bundle is created successfully. We got the message here. I just created a mix match bundle here. Click on view and see on our live store. Here it is. The mix match bundle you can add the product 
you can increase the quantity and you can also remove the product from here here is a mix match bundle here let's navigate to our app and click on edit and now create a bundle page also choose the second option redirect to bundle page you can also write the subtitle if you want to change the button text and if you want to open the bundle page on new tab you can simply check this checkbox for now i'll leave it and click on save let's refresh the page here it is this is the bundle summary or you can say a bundle preview so you can click on go to bundle page and here it is the bundle page you just created you can simply add it and you can also remove it from here let's navigate to our app and click on customization let's change the look and appearance and choose here mix match bundle so by default we offer a preset layout here you can choose the color as per your brand color okay let's suppose choose this one and we also offer a bundle style you can display in grid view or you can display in this view okay so for more customization you can also enable the background option and if you want to hide a product preview like this one so you can simply check this check box so the preview is wouldn't be displayed same goes to here if you don't want to display the total banner you can simply uncheck the check box and there are some bunch of customization you can customize the bundle customization price customization and many more other features here we add to cart you can also change the icon from here and you can also add a animation if you want and there are some font customization the counter customization and many more there are bunch of customization features so for now i'll leave it as it is click on save let's refresh the page here it is you see the customization is applied perfectly here so let's add to cart so the discount is only applied if you add five quantity or you can say five products Let's add to cart. Yes, you see the discount is applied perfectly here. Let's navigate to the product page. So, what if the bundle is not visible on product page? You can do one thing: simply navigate to our app and click on installation page. So we have. given a proper guide here to how to add a app block okay let me go through it first of all click on customize and click on products now again click on default product now click on product main So I already added the app block here. Let's hide it and add a app block above the product form. Click on Add App Block. Click on Apps. Now choose Mix Match Bundle. Click on it. You can also see the live preview here. Let's save it. Let's refresh the page. You see, the bundle widget is above the add to cart, right? So, what if if the app block or your theme doesn't support the two point zero? So, simply navigate to our app, click on manual installation. So, we have given a code snippet. You just created a mix match bundle. Copy the code snippet and navigate to the main product liquid file. or you can say product liquid file in shopify theme and paste the code wherever you want to display the bundle it's very simple so 
If you have any query or any doubt, you can simply comment this video below or you can simply reach out to our support team. That's all for today. Thank you and have a great day.